Jesus explains, The coming financial collapse in the U.S. is part of my cleansing. December 7, 2017 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie December 7, 2017 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Claire began, Lord Jesus, please impart to all of us the absolute critical condition of our nation and the need for deep intercession and fasting. Jesus, deliver us from evil. Deliver our president, our nation, and the world. Amen. Jesus began, It will not happen all in one day, just like the real estate crisis. It will begin in one day and end in one day, several months later. This is part of my cleansing of this nation. This is a wake-up call to my people who are sitting on the fence. It is time to get your souls in order. This is not just about money. It's about a decadent people who have forgotten me. No longer will one group of Christians be alive and the other dead, spiritually, that is. Rather, this will shake the death and lukewarmness out of them to wake up, pay attention, and respond to me. It will not be all that disastrous, as you first thought, because it is true. Your president is expecting this and has prepared for it. This will not take him by surprise. Although the media will attempt to blame him, that won't last long, and it won't stop him from bringing these criminals to justice. It will confuse people, but only for a short time. It is the praying Christians who will hold this nation together. All my heart aches for those who do not know better and have been so lazy, refusing to read the signs of the times. Oh, how I ache and hurt for them. It truly is a harsh measure to bring them into a state of awareness, for they have chosen to sleep, though many things they should have been aware of. This unfortunately goes with the middle-class liberal lifestyle, as well as the elderly retired who didn't rock the boat, but just fit into the mold of conformity, counting up their retirement benefits. Families will be called upon to support their own elderly, putting a new burden on them. This also is by my design, to wake them up from a selfish lifestyle and draw them into hearts of charity and caring, even as the scriptures advise. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Claire, this is only temporary. Everything will bounce back in a few months. Timing depends much on your prayers, all of your prayers. I do not want you to have the idea that this is the end. It is not the end. It is a temporary adjustment and correction to a society of materialism. You will recover, all will recover, but it will be a difficult transition. I just want you to be prepared to do what you can for all involved and to keep this mission afloat while the transition is taking place. There will be a resurgence of holiness and prosperity that, if handled well, will last quite a season. However, if people begin to forget me again, that will be the beginning of the end.
I want you to be encouraged. I want you to encourage others along with the warning. There are several steps they too can take. First and foremost is prayer and support for your president. He will not lead you astray. He will lead you out of this collapse if you pray and follow him. Encourage others to follow him and to stay in prayer. Much will depend on how much you stay in prayer, fast and give. The dangerous place to be during this transition are the big cities, but there is not going to be the kind of rioting and pandemonium you imagine. It is going to be a slow, increasing depression until the system rights itself. It will put a hole in the president's economy, but it is going to bounce back. As I've told you before, rest in me, trust me. It's not going to be as traumatic some have presented it, who want to sell their schemes. Nevertheless, turning your cash into gold is still the right thing to do until the system rights itself. 